Hello students, welcome to lecture 2 on chapter current electricity. In the last lecture, we discussed about electric current, types of electric currents and direction of electric current. In this lecture, we are going to discuss on drift velocity, relaxation time, expression for drift velocity mobility and current density now let us move to next slide drift velocity okay, now let us try to understand what is drift velocity consider a conductor in a conductor there are large number of free electrons and these free electrons at room temperature will gain thermal energy and due to this thermal energy these electrons will move in random direction with very high velocity and that velocity is called thermal velocity the average thermal velocity of all the electrons at room temperature is zero due to their random motion therefore there is no net flow of electrons in a particular direction hence no flow of current in the conductor now when a potential difference is applied across the conductor an electric field is set up in the conductor and due to this electric field the free electrons inside the conductor will experience a force and this force accelerates electrons towards the positive end of the conductor and these electrons are moving with some additional velocity and that additional velocity is called drift velocity see they are moving in particular direction they are moving towards the positive end of the conductor with some additional velocity that velocity is called drift velocity now let me define drift velocity the average velocity with which the free electrons move inside the conductor in a direction opposite to the direction of electric field is called drift velocity the average velocity with which the free electrons move inside the conductor in a direction opposite to the direction of electric field is called drift velocity okay points to be remembered the value of thermal velocity is approximately equal to 10 to the power of 5 meter per second okay it's a very high value we cannot imagine how fast the electrons move second point the value of drift velocity is of the order of 10 to the power of minus 4 meter per second okay this value is very small though it is very small it makes a lot in producing electric current in the conductor next relaxation time as we all know that the free electrons in the conductor undergo collision and these electrons will undergo n number of collisions and they consume some time between two successive collisions the time between two successive collisions for n number of collision is not same for some it takes more time for some it takes less time therefore the average time between two successive collision is called relaxation time what it is called relaxation time okay this we can understand by this small animation 
electron is undergoing collision with fixed ions okay there we have considered three collisions first collision second one time between first and second collision is t1 third collision time between second and third is t2 the average of these two times is called relaxation time now let us define relaxation time the average time between two successive collision is called relaxation time the average time between two successive collision is called relaxation time okay, let us see how relaxation time depends upon temperature as temperature increases relaxation time decreases let me explain if the temperature of the conductor increases then the free electrons inside the conductor will gain thermal energy due to this thermal energy these free electrons will move with greater velocity hence they take lesser time between two successive collision by this we can say that if temperature increases relaxation time decreases the order of relaxation time is 10 to the power of 14 second it's a very small time that means the collisions will be very fast between the electron and ions okay next let us derive the expression of drift velocity consider a conductor and this connect conductor is connected to a battery and there is a potential difference across the conductor and due to this potential difference an electric field is set up in the conductor due to this electric field electrons will experience a force and this force makes the electrons to get accelerated towards the positive end of the conductor with acceleration a see they are moving towards positive end of the conductor with some additional velocity and that velocity is drift velocity consider a metallic conductor having large number of free electrons the average velocity of these electrons at room temperature is zero due to their random motion but when an electric field is applied the free electrons experience a force in a direction opposite to the direction of electric field because of this force electrons get accelerated and this acceleration is given by a equal to minus e into capital e divided by m this we got it by these formulas okay this is the force due to mass of the electron and the same force can be expressed in terms of charge on the electron okay by equating we get a is equal to minus e into capital e divided by m where small e is charge and m is mass of the electron and capital e is applied electric field and a is acceleration now consider some ith electron at a given time electron has velocity vi such that vi equal to ui plus a into ti okay this we got it from v equal to u plus at where ui is thermal velocity a into t is velocity acquired by the electron because of applied electric field now substituting a in equation 1 we get vi is equal to 
यू आई माइनस ई इंटू कैपिटल ई डिवाइड बाई एम इंटू टी आई सिंस द ड्रिफ्ट वेलोसिटी इज एवरेज वेलोसिटी ऑफ ऑल द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड इट इज गिवन बाय वी डी इक्वल टू वी आई एवरेज इज इक्वल टू यू आई एवरेज माइनस ई इंटू ई डिवाइड बाई एम इंटू टी आई एवरेज के दिस यू आई एवरेज इज इनिशियल वेलोसिटी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड दिस टी आई एवरेज इज एवरेज टाइम विट इन टू सक्सेसिव कोलिजन सिंस द एवरेज वेलोसिटी ऑफ फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इज जीरो इनिशियली दट इज यू आई ऑफ एवरेज इज इक्वल टू जीरो putting this value in above equation we get vd equal to 0 minus e into capital e divided by m into tau finally we can write this equation as vd equal to minus e into e divided by m into tau can the above equation negative sign represents the direction of drift velocity is opposite to the direction of electric field hence this is the expression for drift velocity next mobility mobility is represented by mu when a metallic conductor is subjected to an electric field the free electrons in the conductor tends to drift the ability of free electrons to drift inside the conductor in the presence of electric field is expressed in terms of mobility therefore mobility is the ability of free electrons to move inside the conductor under the effect of electric field can okay, now with this we can define mobility the mobility is defined as the magnitude of drift velocity per unit electric field i repeat the mobility is defined as the magnitude of drift velocity per unit electric field it is mathematically expressed as mu equal to vd divided by e where vd is drift velocity and e is electric field can okay, now points to be remembered si unit of mobility is meter square per volt per second mobility is also expressed as mu equal to e into tau divided by m given mobility can be expressed by this equation that is e into tau divided by m where e is charge on the electron tau is relaxation time m is mass of the electron okay next current density it is symbolically represented by j okay it is the characteristic of electric current current density is defined as current per unit cross sectional area current per unit cross sectional area is called current density mathematically it is given by j equal to i divided by a where i is current a is cross sectional area it is a vector quantity that means it has both magnitude and direction its si unit is ampere per meter square s unit of current density is ampere per meter square the direction of current density is along the direction of current the direction of current density is along the direction of current thank you